Hello and welcome to another episode of Junior Fisherman. In this episode, I have a Walmart unbagging. So Walmart, I know it's not Cabela's, it's not Bass Pro, it's not Tackle Warehouse. But you know, just simple um, supplies that you're going to need a lot. Walmart can be a great place to buy them. The prices are low for good quality stuff. They run a lot of sales. Um, it's just a good place to get your basic things. So. I got some different things. Um, <clears throat> first off, I got some some Zoom salty super flukes. These are the smaller ones. Here's the original fluke, <clears throat> baby bass, and then some just some smaller flukes. And the reason for the smaller ones is the river that we fish a lot is has small bass in it, and we only have big flukes, so we wanted to get some of that. So then, we have some watermelon. I'll take one out of this. Watermelon red flake flukes. Now, we use watermelon uh, zoom trick worms a lot, and they work great for big bass, so we decided to, so we thought it would be a good idea to get, um, so I mean, since flukes supposedly catch good bass, and then we know that color works on here, might as well get some. And then they were doing a sale, they had some bags that were like flop bags, they were mislabeled, and just kind of different colors and stuff to put in together, so they have clearance some, some of them, some of them were. They basically did a thing for packs of these yums, six packs um, of yums, they found it were dollar um, 96 I think. So a pack, so I got some cool baits, I got first off the yum dinger. Now this bait, let me take it out of the package real fast, is a bait that I've been wanting to try a lot got a cool scent to it. Um, for a long time, it's the Yumdinger. Now the reason for the Yumdinger is Brendan's Fabulous World of Fishing. Uh, um, he's a, that's an awesome channel. He recommended the Yumdinger um, as probably the best bass fishing worm of all times to Wacky Rig. So I got some, this is like a blue, it was a strange pack, some different weird colors. Got this sort of dark greenish blue color. It got um, a sort of white gold black flake color, white red flake color sort of thing. Um, and I got this sort of dark green with flake color. And I know what you're thinking, you shouldn't put them in the same package, all in one color. And all that, and that's probably true. And that's probably a lot of people. A lot of people probably wouldn't have bought them just because they were different colors in one package. But because they're dollar ninety six, I think that was a flop package. They packaged their flop colors that didn't really turn out the correct colors, so they decided to put it on package and sell them. I think it's cool to get to try out some different colors, and if this bait. This is supposed to be a great bait, and I've been wanting to track for a while. <coughs> the next one, oh man. These, I just, I know I'm going to catch a fish on these. They look so good. But, I mean, I know as soon as I pitch this thing in the water, I'm going to get something. I mean, look at that thing. Look at that. Hold it back here so you can see. This is the young creature style bait in black and blue. And black and blue is a classic color for bass. It's a great color. This is just, it looks, I mean, I, I don't I don't know if anybody else thinks this, but it looks like you're going to throw this thing in the water and 10 pounder is going to come out and slam it. It just, it looks so good for bass. Black and blue, beaver bait. It's a nice, chunky, small profile bait. And that's going to be good. That's the first thing I saw. Walk it past their dollar ninety six bin. I was like, yeah, probably not. Cause, I mean, I, I I like their deals. My dollar ninety six. That's a good price. 
we feel like three dollars usually. Um, but I didn't know if they had anything I wanted, so I decided. So I just looked and I saw these on the top and I thought, oh man, those look really good. Next up we got some lime. This is probably the best lime on the market today for a good price. This is seven, about like six fifty four each. Stern original. You can't go wrong with Stern original. It's good. It's got um, low memory, superior abrasion resistance, superior knock strength, tensile strength. <clears throat> um, it's got a UV guard. <clears throat> UV guard in the line so it would last a lot longer. It's just a great line. We got two of the two ten pounds. I use ten pound and a lot of guys probably don't aren't gonna like this but I use it on my medium action spinning rod, my bait caster and my catfish rod. It's just a good all around line. Um, I know eight pounds is kinda right now the eight pound craze for medium action and spinning reels and stuff. And I don't think that's bad. I got I have some leader material that's eight pounds um, that I do use for leaders if I think ten pounds too heavy. But I like ten pounds, then I can just skip it back up under dog, skip it back up into different hard places to reach, get cast way back into cover, and I don't have to worry about getting the fish out. I can get them out. And I also want to have rods that bank fish from that are versatile. So if I take one rod, my medium action spinning rod, I can go carp, catfish, bass, bluegill, trout, whatever. And I need a line on my medium action spinning rod that I can still use the ocean. So that's 330 yard spools of clear. I would have liked Lobiz moss green because I kind of like that color better. I don't think that's much for the fish. But they didn't have any, so I got. And then the only other thing in this order is a um, some sinkers and some hooks. Now you may be looking at these and say, "Oh, he's going catfishing." No, I'm not going catfishing. I got some three sixteenths ounce um, little casting sinkers, brass casting, no, steel casting sinkers um, for drop shotting and for carp fishing. Um, and then some little size four bait holder hooks for drop shotting and carp fishing. Now I know a lot of guys are going to say bait holders, and you got to go buy the drop shot hooks. Well, I see where that would come in, but I like a versatile hook as a bank fisherman. I need a hook that's going to um, last a while and give me more things to do with that one hook, so I don't have to carry as much tackle. So. Four, size 4, um, bait holder hooks make good drop shot hooks, and then uh, 3 sixteenths ounce and carp hooks, and 3 sixteenths ounce sinkers make great drop shot sinkers and good carp sinkers. Um, so that's the order, that's not the order. Okay, I've been watching a bunch of unboxing videos of Tackle Warehouse, that's not the order. This is the, um, this is the bag, the complete bag, it's got all the different things, and so... Thanks for watching. Get out there, catch some more fish.